Hi, my name is Coach Galati, and I'm going to start with my girls' team um, wrap-up from the season. So for the girls' cross-country, our um, goals were to try to stay in the top half of the conference meet, um, try to see if we can repeat as county meet champions again, and also see if we can get back to the uh, regional meet for the second year in a row as well. Um, and our team results were that we did get second in the county meet, um, at the conference meet, we did stay in the top half of the conference. We got fourth place this year, which was an improvement from fifth place last year. And then we were just a couple of uh, places short of moving on to regionals as a team. Um, we did finish seventh overall as a team at sectionals. As far as um, individual um, uh, standouts, um, we had two runners that were all county this year, which means you finished in the top seven in the county. Um, and those were um, Alexis Reed Gill, and then the county meet champion was Karina Alanese. Um, also, both of those girls were our two um, all conference runners, uh, with Karina um, finishing first team all conference for us, and then uh, Alexis was second team all conference. And then also, Karina and Alexis um, qualified for regionals individually and semi state individually. Um, which was great for us to be able to have two girls um, competing at semi-state, whereas last year we only had, um, um, I think we had two also, but one of them graduated. Um, and then lastly, um, Karina Alanis was also um, our new school record holder in the 5K for the girls, um, when she ran a time of 1947, only uh, one of three uh, girls ever to break 20 minutes, but she broke the school record by two minutes with her 1947. And then also at the very beginning of the year, she broke her home uh, meet, or our, I should say our home course record time with a 21.10. And that's something um, you know she may be able to beat next year. I think next year we should be hosting the county meet which will be later in the season instead of the very first meet of the year like our home meet was this year. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes, if she can uh, maybe lower that next year. We'll see. Um, but uh, overall, not a bad season. Again, second in the county, top half of the conference meet. Um, and considering that we did lose a, a ton of girls last year, um, I think uh, we graduated four out of our top five runners last season or, or lost uh, four of our top five runners la from last season. So considering we only returned one of our top five, uh, from a year ago to still be in the top half of the conference, still get second in the county meet, um, that's um, you know pretty good and hopefully something to build on considering we do return all of our uh, girl runners for next season. Next is my boys' season wrap-up uh, for cross-country. So our boys' team had goals of trying to stay in the top three of the conference um, with an eye on trying to win it uh, like we did last year. Um, wanted to try to win the county meet again, move on to regionals, and then uh, possibly semi-state as a team. Um, those are all uh, goals that we had for ourselves. Um, our team results this year were we got second place in the county meet this year, um, and then we finished third in the conference meet while uh, just missing moving on to regionals as a team with uh, a sixth-place finish at the sectional uh, and top five teams move on. So um, overall, not too bad of a team effort. Again, considering like the girls team, we did lose a lot of our, our top runners from a year ago. Um, out of our top five from last year, we only returned two. Um, and that's a you know, pretty big hit, especially with our number one boy being one of those um, who was you know, one of our top runners um, in school history, uh, Hugo Hernandez, last year. So um, after losing him, especially up front, um, we still managed to replace him with um, some pretty good runners up front anyways. We, uh, we had three guys in particular uh, that did a great job for us all year, leading the team up front um, in many of our races to try to set us, <clears throat> set us up for as good a performance as we could. Um, and those uh, three runners also, non-coincidentally enough, we're um, all county this year, finishing the top uh, seven in the conference. All three guys were also first team all conference, and all three of them were regional and semi-state qualifiers. Um, so those three guys that led us this year were Daniel Pritchett, <clears throat> Angel Perez, and Josue uh, uh, Bautista Ventura. Um, so uh, you know, they had uh, uh, done a great year job with us this year. Uh, we're just lacking some team depth, which will happen when you do lose three of your top five runners from a year ago, especially with the boys. Um, but uh, the good news is we do replace or return, sorry, everybody from a year ago, like the girls team. Uh, we had zero seniors on the team, so if everyone comes back, everyone trains hard. Plus, um, you know, we got a few new runners too, like we usually do. Um, with all that in mind, and everyone stays healthy, um, we definitely uh, can improve upon this uh, result from this year to uh, you know even better things next year. Okay, our Scholastic Awards uh, goes to um, 
the person with the best grades, basically, for the boys and the girls' teams. Um, something that I have no influence on at all. Um, it's completely made up of uh, GPA only. Uh, and I believe it's only for juniors and seniors uh, that can qualify. Um, and um, with that in mind, you know, Scholastic Award is very important. Um, you know, all of our athletes are student athletes, not just athletes, meaning uh, they should be, um, you know, wanting to do as well as they can in school so they can not only be eligible, but also so they can, um, you know, be as good of a, a student they possibly can be, just like with athletics. So, um, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. If you want to compete well uh, and do all you can to compete well in athletics, you should be also trying to compete as well as you can with your classmates to do as well as you can um, it, with your schoolwork. So um, it's probably not a coincidence that both of these are um, runners that are, you know, our top runners on, our, on the boys and the girls teams um, because, you know, they have that drive and determination to do all, you know, as well as they can and everything, whether we're talking about athletics or academics. So um, our boy and girl um, scholastic uh, awards go to Josue Bautista Ventura and Karina Alaniz. Okay, our most improved rookie awards go to um, first-year runners only, since it is for rookies only, um, that um, improved a lot this season. Um, we didn't really have very many rookies this year for the boys or the girls team, um, but that doesn't diminish you know, what the, uh, both of these um, runners you know, achieved this year by any means. Um, we had um, both of them start a little bit later than um, many of their teammates, um, but they still, when they did show up, you know, worked you know, as hard as they could, kept showing up to try to improve as well as they could with consistency um, once they did start with us uh, full throttle. And the result was uh, they improved quite a bit in a very short amount of time, um, which is uh, great to see. So um, our uh, boy uh, most improved rookie is Leo Roa. Um, and again, he didn't get a whole lot of meets, but considering how few meets he got to run, he still improved by uh, almost two minutes, which is pretty you know, great to see in such a short amount of time. Uh, hopefully he'll be with us earlier next year and be able to get into a lot more meets and not have um, to wait you know, till he gets enough practices in to be with us a little more. But still, you know, he worked hard as he could at practices. He uh, you know, started out um, you know, struggling a little bit, which happens with first-year runners, and then just kept at it and kept at it and got a little better and a little better and was able to run a little more and more and, and improve um, throughout the year, um, not only at practice but also at the meets as a result. Um, and our girl winner uh, was Evelyn Garcia. Um, she um, didn't have as late of a start as Leo did, but um, she did start uh, about a week into school, I think, um, and, you know, kind of struggled a little bit of practice at first, maybe having to walk a little bit of practices, but again, she just, you know, showed good uh, work ethic and just kept trying to, you know, do all she could to get a little better and a little better and was able to run and, you know, more and more practice. And then the result was she ended up being, um, or improving, I should say, five minutes and 30 seconds from the beginning of the year, which her first meet was at the uh, Danville 5K. Um, and then by the end of the year, you know, dropped that five minutes and 30 seconds, which is a huge amount of time. Um, and then uh, she also kind of moved up within the team where she was our sixth girl every meet up until the sectional meet when she actually was our fourth uh, girl on the team. So she even, you know, improved her position within the team um, by a couple spots from the beginning of the year to uh, the end where it really matters the most at sectionals. And next is the Most Improved Runner Award. So this goes to one, uh, our veteran runners, ones that have been here at least a year um, from one year to the next. It's mostly what we look at for how they, uh, much they improve, but also part of how much they improve in the season is looked at as well. Um, for our boy runner, um, he was a, a very big improvement from a year ago um, where he, uh, time-wise, first of all, improved a minute 30 seconds, um, which doesn't really tell the whole story just because he was um, at a you know pretty good uh, level last year when he was about 1828 uh, for his PR so to go from 1828 and then be able to break 17 minutes that sounds a lot more impressive which it is uh, to be able to crack 17 minutes which um, you know he was really close to being in our top 20 uh, 5ks of all time list uh, for the boys group so to have that big of an improvement when he already started pretty low last season you know that's pretty um, you know tough to do and and great to see uh, also this year um, he was our uh, always in our top three um, for our team every single meet and mostly he was either our number one or number two guy all season um, and he improved that from last year where 
<clears throat> last year where he was never in our top five, I don't think. Um, he was mainly our number six runner. So to go from number six runner um, to being, you know, one of our top runners every meet practically, um, you know, that's a great improvement within the team. Uh, other things he improved on outside of the team were the fact that he was first team all-conference this year uh, after not even being all-conference at all last year, finishing, I don't even think uh, he was in the top 25 or if he was – no, he couldn't have been because he wasn't all-conference at all. So he wasn't in the top 25 last year, and then he was first-team all-conference this year. Um, and then also he was all-county this year when he wasn't last year at all, um, so showing a lot of improvement there. Um, and then he also managed to uh, improve enough to make sure he could make it the semi-state, even though the team didn't, uh, where he was you know, one of our, our regional semi-state qualifiers. So for the boys, um, most improved runner award, that goes to Angel Perez. On our girls' side, uh, this goes to a runner uh, that um, – she improved about a minute 20 from uh, last year to this year, which is one of the top uh, improvements from uh, our girls that were here last season. Um, another thing she improved on, the fact that she was also in our top five this year um, consistently, um, I think uh, worked her way up to being our number three girl eventually. Um, and uh, last year she was never in our top five. Um, she might have been maybe at best or our seventh runner a couple times, but mostly she, um, she was definitely not, you know, one of our top four runners. And this year, uh, she pretty much consistently um, was that, um, which shows, you know, good improvement within the team as well. And also, she's improved a lot with, you know, how she trains at practice um, compared to last year where she wasn't in, you know, as uh, good a shape she was as this year. Um, you know, she was, you know, always, um, you know, doing all she could to try to get better. And um, that helped contribute to the gains that she had this year. So uh, the Most Improved Girl Award goes to Jennifer Del Toro. Yeah, the Sportsmanship Awards um, go to, um, first on the boys' side, an individual that had a great work ethic all year. Um, I think it was at pretty much every single summer practice all year long um, after, you know, rough uh, spring and, and late start to the summer, but still uh, definitely looked like he you know, did what he should have to kind of prepare in June on his own, um, leading into when we could actually physically meet. Um, he uh, you know, showed great worth at ethic all season, not just in the summer, but all season and as well, you know, constantly trying to do what he could to, to improve himself. Um, and due to that, he was definitely uh, on his way to um, consistently being our number four runner um, and was until he uh, unfortunately got injured this year. Um, but even still, being our you know, number four runner pretty much the whole year up to that point, um, is great to see and shows how much he did, uh, you know, work hard to get to where he did because last year, the year before, um, he was our, our 11th guy in the team. So to jump from the 11th guy all the way up to our number uh, four guy, one of our top four performers, was great to see. Um, and, again, was due to the, um, the hard work he put in up to that point before he unfortunately got injured. Um, and um, with his, you know, great work ethic um, before injury, um, but also after injury um, is one of the main reasons why he deserves the Sportsmanship Award. Um, you know, he was injured, um, which is really frustrating and have, when you have to try to deal with injuries. And, um, you know, still showed up every day, did what he needed to do to try to get better and try to help the team, you know, constantly asking, you know, what does he need to do to practice? And even when he had to practice alone um, and um, away from the team to do some cross training, you know, he still did the work he needed to do to try to put himself in a position to help the team as much as he could. Um, and that's, you know, exactly something, you know, we want all our athletes to try to strive for, you know, through adversity, just keep, you know, working hard as you can and, and just continue to try to, you know, help the team and help yourself in the process, you know, as well as you can do. Um, concerning the circumstances. So uh, our sportsmanship award for the boys goes to Marco Reyes. And on the girls' side, um, this is going to uh, an individual girl that um, also has uh, had and shown a great worth, uh, work ethic this season. Um, and um, with this work ethic, she managed to actually improve her time uh, five minute, almost five minutes and 30 seconds. Um, so a huge improvement um, considering that she didn't really start that um, slow this season. Um, she was in the high 20s, but usually to get like five minutes and 30 seconds time drop, that's, you know, girls running over 30 minutes to begin with, but she wasn't. Um, and she just kept getting better and getting better and getting better and improving quite a bit uh, to having actually one of the, probably one of the, if I've kept track of it, but I haven't, but if I did, she probably has one of the best freshman times I've ever coached or very close to it if she didn't. Um, she ended up... Um, becoming a semi-state qualifier as a freshman, which is also very tough to do, especially given our regional, uh, which is a pretty tough regional 
uh, year in and year out. Um, not to mention they get out of sectionals individually. Um, but she, uh, you know, had a positive attitude all season long. A lot of times she had to do work at lead workouts with uh, other girls that she, you know, being a freshman, um, you know, isn't always the most comfortable thing in the world to try to lead a practice uh, with Karina being with the, the boys group. She was the next best girl up. Um, but, you know, didn't matter if there was girls around her or not. She was still pushing herself as hard as she could um, because of that great work ethic and, and, you know, not being afraid to work hard when even if it was hot outside or windy outside or whatever the case is. And, um, you know, great attitude, which is just something, you know, you want to see in an athlete. And when you have that, great improvements occur, and then great things happen for that athlete. And that's exactly what happened uh, in her case. So our uh, Girls Sportsmanship Award goes to Alexis Reed Gill. For the MVP award on the boys' side, um, it was a little bit of a tough decision. I, I had a little back and forth going between two of our runners. Um, one thing that stood out, though, with uh, this year's MVP award winner was the fact that he was the only guy in the team to never finish outside the top two um, for our team. In, um, so he was either our number one or number two runner all season long. Um, in the couple times that he was our number two runner, usually he was only a couple seconds behind our top runner uh, at the meet. Um, but the, the things that stand out the most with him, uh, our winner, was that he was, um, uh, if you look at all of the races and our average 5K times, he had the best average 5K time overall. Um, he had the second best PR on the team overall, um, but again, pretty close to the top uh, time this year. Um, most importantly, at the championship meets, he was on average our, our top runner uh, if you average out the championship meets, so county meet. Uh, conference meet, sectionals, regionals, semi-state. Um, on average, he was our top guy, um, being our number one runner at the conference meet um, and sectionals and semi-state in particular. Um, other things to uh, that he did well this season was uh, he was for, uh, first team all-conference, um, he was uh, all-county this year, um, and he was one of our three regional and semi-state qualifiers. Um, and hands down, the best performance uh, of the year would be the fact that he did end up at the conference meet finishing as a runner-up, getting second place overall, unexpectedly, quite honestly. Um, so leapfrogged a bunch of people within the conference uh, to get second in the conference um, after being, I believe, he was 13th last year. So pretty big jump, jump within the conference as well. So uh, with all those things in mind, um, this year's boys MVP runner is Daniel Pritchett. On the girls' side, that was a little more cut and dry um, and pretty much um, known from the first race to the last race who this uh, award winner would be. Um, Karina Alanis, she set the new school uh, record, 5K record, 1947. Um, that was a record that was a, a what, a 11-year-old record, I believe, 2009. So, um, you know, it's been staying for a while, waiting for someone to pick it off, and, and she finally uh, was the one to do it. Um, she also got the home course meet record as well this year. Um, she won the county meet. Uh, she was first team all-conference, our only runner that was uh, first team all-conference this year. Um, and then also she qualified for regionals and semi-state and I believe was the, the top individual um, qualifier from sectionals to move on to regionals and from regionals to move on to semi-state. And, um, you know, um, she was in all the invitationals, big invitationals where we're going against, you know, girls that have competed at the state meet and things like that. Um, she was continuously in like the top 10, some you know, top 15 at worst in a lot of those invitationals. Um, so, you know, just shows how great of a season she's had. And, you know, all this is due to, you know, great, having great mental toughness. Um, she had great work ethic, you know, better than you can ask for. I mean, just say, hey, this is what we're doing today. And, um, you know, she just go to work and get it done and, and you know, reap the, uh, the benefits of it. Um, and quite honestly, um, like I said, I think at the beginning, uh, three girls broke 20 minutes, so she's one of the three. Um, but still, she's hands down the best, you know, girl runner I've coached, not just based on times, but just in general with attitude, work ethic, you know, a lot of these things that even a couple of the other girls that uh, did break 20 minutes didn't quite fully have, but, um, you know, Karina definitely does. Um, so, um, look forward to one more year with her. We'll see if she can lower that record next season. You know, time will tell, of course, with good health and, um, you know, hard work, of course. Um, but, uh, this year, anyway, our MVP award goes to Karina Alanis.